Beep beep everybody. Uh, due to an audio malfunction during a dozen long video um, marathon, I um, I have to resort to doing voiceovers for um, this video and the ones previous and some more later on. Having said that, let's start with baseball jumbo box um i found these at rite aid earlier this year for five dollars a box and i picked up two of them um i later went a second time to rite aid probably a couple weeks later uh, as you can see these were distrib distributed by fairfield and they no longer had any in stock at that time at least at my local rite aid uh, warning, there's a choking hazard. <laughs> I can't imagine uh, why anyone would put a baseball card in their mouth. But little kids are something else sometimes. And I am struggling to get this thing open, which is, again, a common theme on this channel. I might want to change the name of the channel to... Uh, Something to do with not being able to open them. And I try from the bottom and I have better luck at it. Uh, now if I felt like I'd move this over to the camera so that we can see the inside. And we pulled out a 1991 FLIR Ultra Pack. And we're waiting for... There's the, the cards. And for being packaged loosely inside these boxes, uh, their condition isn't that bad. So there's a 2020 Dustin Pedroia. And I have suspect that most of this will be cheap stuff, maybe mostly from Junk Wax Error. And there's Gregory Polanco, Future Stars card. And that's from 2015. And I'm pointing to the corner, so that one might have had some damage. There's a postal vehicle to the left. And there's 1989 Tops, Robbie Thompson, great second baseman for the Giants. Robbie and his wife are parents of two children. <laughs> and there's Johnny Ray from 1991 Upper Deck. Uh, that was a nice photo with his bat just re making contact with the ball. There's 1990 tops, Randy Myers. So now we're seeing junk wax stuff. And there's 91 tops, Danny Gladden and Mike Lavalier. Look at that swing. You can see a bend in his back. And there's Johnny Ray again from 1990, Upper Deck. And 1990, Brady Anderson, who had this one season where he went well over or reached 50-some homers. It didn't come anywhere near that the rest of his career. This was earlier in his career, this card from 1990. And there's Randy St. Clair. Uh, it's a FLIR update. And there's Bobby Witt, who I believe is related to Bobby Witt Jr. I might be his father. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. And that's 1993 Tops. And there's Mark Grant from 1990 Upper Deck. And Paul, Hall of Famer Paul Molitor. And there's 87 tops with Willie Randolph. Um, I may be one of the few people that think he should go in the hall. You can argue with me in the comments. I probably won't do any arguing, but you're welcome to your opinion. I think he was a really great player for the Yankees. He just, I, th I think he should be in there. And there's manager Whitey Herzog back when he was with the Cardinals. 1990 tops Jeff Reed and followed by Mark Langston. 
So yeah, we are getting a, a bunch of junk wax in here. Brad Kamensk, and there's Tim Costo from 1991 Upper Deck. Pete, Pete Incaviglia, that's from 88. And 88 tops Charles Hudson, who I remember when he, his, I remember his rookie season when he was with the Phillies. He started off really, really great for them and then struggled for a while and ended up with the Yankees. You could see he was 8-8, uh, eight and eight, but he had a respectable 3.35 earned run average that year. And you can see he went up and down over the years. He had a really good fastball. There's Dorn Taylor and Greg Hibbard and Junior Ortiz, and that's from 92 Tops. Tom Gordon, who later became a great reliever with the Red Sox. Carlos Martinez from 91 Upper Deck. And Spike Owen from 88 Fleer. I apologize for the glare. 87, Greg Minton, Danny Gladden, Marty Barrett, and Don Slott, all from the top set of that year. And there's Tracy Jones from a Stadium Club card. I believe that's 91. I did not collect that set. There's Carl Nichols, and there's Craig Wilson from a Bowman card. I can't quite make out the year on that one. And there's Jose Okendo, and I apologize again for the glare, and that's from 91 Donruss. And the cards are stuck together a little bit. There's Preston Wilson from Upper Deck. And that looks like it's, uh, is that 2000? Not quite sure. And there's uh, Roger Salkeld. And I apologize again for the glare. I need to focus this a little bit more. Barry Zito. Another one from Upper Deck. And that's from 2002, it looks like. And there's uh, Matt Joyce from 2008 Tops rookie card. Not sure what happened to him. Mike Kruko, I remember him with the Cubs and the Phillies early in the 80s. And there is Terrell Wade from Finest Prodigies, and it still has the uh, the protective, um, I forget what that's called, that you could peel off. There's Rob Deere from uh, 92 Leaf, and Rob Deere was kind of like a successor to Dave Kingman with, you know, barely above the Mario Mendoza line, but still powering 30 or so homers a season. And as you can see there, he was hitting 218 that deep into his career with 173 home runs. And there's pitcher Mike Stanton. And Ron Gant, who had a really nice career for the Braves. There's Carlos, Carlos Delgado from Fleer Tradition. He had a great career. Probably should be in the hall. And there's the Marlins team leaders with Miguel Cabrera and Dontrell Willis. And Rafael Fercal. Upper deck, there's an 86 tops, Jose Okendo. And an 89 Pete Rose, who has hair static. And an 86 tops, Ed Romero. 
and the Royals leaders from the 86 top set. I believe that's Hal McCray on the front. So not a whole lot in that pack. We got a few decent cards. So let's open up this 91 Fleer Ultra and see what we can find in there. And there's Mike Lavalier. And this set I'm not familiar with. I didn't buy this. Uh, Joe McGrain, Dickie Thon. That's a great photo. Jeff Hewson. Dennis Martinez, great pitcher. And Ken Griffey Jr. Cool. Hall of Famer Griffey. And there's Dave Stewart. Had a great career for the A's before he... Uh, Suffered from some injuries. I don't remember how many seasons in a row he topped 20 wins, but I think it was four. And he was a, a great pitcher for that team. Todd Hunley. Mark Witten. John Ramos. Tom Browning. Steve Fry. Dale Murphy, later on in his career when he was with the Phillies, he should be in the Hall of Fame. And Jack McDowell, who had a couple really great years for the White Sox. So that's the first box. And I guess for five bucks, that wasn't too bad. I mean, there was, a, there was some star cards in there, a few Hall of Famers. Uh, a, a significant amount of it was junk wax error, but, you know, some of that junk wax error has some charm. And, and we're pulling out cards from the second box now. And our pack is Donruss. I'm not sure what year that is. 1990. 1990 Donruss. I didn't buy any of those. Uh, I, I wasn't buying packs by the 90s I was buying things as factory sealed sets because it was easier I didn't have as much time to be buying packs and opening them up but I I, I did all that in <laughs> 79 80 and 81 especially 1981 oh and there's a plastic purple toilet that just crossed the screen and there it is again. <laughs> All righty. So we start off with uh, 89 Donruss with Bob Nepper, and it looks like that has some corner ding on it. So not all these cards were, were saved from the box that they were in. Again, they, they come loose in that box and with little protection. So if the box gets thrown around, there's Neil Allen and John Olerud, who had a pretty decent career with an umpire next to him doing some kind of strange dance move. I uh, apologize again for the glare. It looks like his card has a, a ding on it, too. And there's Kevin Pillar, Ryan McMahon, Craig Lefferts from Stadium Club, and Scott Ciamparino or Champarino. Never heard of him. Jeff Leonard with the Brewers. The, he was a. Uh, with the Astros, I believe. No, the Giants. Oh, he was with the Astros. I'm wrong. He was with them a long time ago. John Burkett. From uh, Leaf. And there's uh, Bobby Munoz. And Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn. And it uh, looks like I'm pointing out a corner ding. Not sure if you can see that. There it is. And that's from Score. 
So too bad that that got dinged. There's Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin from 87 Donruss. And it looks like there's some edging issue at the top and with a black border card. It's, it's hard to find them in great shape. And he does, he looks like he's in mid burp or something. Uh, I believe this is Conlon, the Conlon collection, and that's Chuck Klein, Hall of Famer, played for the Phillies way back when they played at Baker Bowl. And he put up some pretty amazing numbers, um, though he benefited from a short um, right field. Uh, distance from home plate I believe it was under 300 feet uh, there was a high fence there but that really helped him out and if you look at his home and away stats you'll see the difference but he still had a great career Rene Gonzalez that's from Fleer Ultra I'm not sure why I'm spending so much time on that card. And there's Jacob Brumfield, uh, who's uh, in midair. And there's Darren Lewis. So a lot of common cards in this set. There's Mark Witten when he was with the Cardinals. I think that's uh, 94 Ultra. And Freddie McGriff who is, uh, definitely needs to be in the Hall of Fame. He had a great career. Not sure what's taken them so long to get him in there. And that's from 93 Leaf. And there's Tito Landrum, which, which I think this is a senior, the senior professional league, which existed for uh, two years part of one season and one full season and then it folded and that's too bad I think that would have been a a nice experiment if it had continued uh, giving uh, players that uh, were either released and no longer being called up to the big leagues or retired give them a chance to play a shortened season and keep uh, playing that's Mike Ross with a real with a crease and a bend in the upper left corner, and that looks like a minor league card. You can see that bend in there. And I'm not sure uh, who made this. I'm not familiar with that. There's Luis Gonzalez. Again, I apologize for the glare. I must be holding the cards at a poor anger, a angle, I mean. And there's Hojo Howard Johnson from Donruss Triple Play. And there are some stickers for four different teams, it looks like. We'll put that aside. Rated rookie Kevin Morton. Not sure what happened to him. And there's Billy Sample. I believe that's a Topps traded card from 86. And you see it had a... They printed those on white card stock instead of the gray card stock. There's Dale Murphy with uh, in from Bowman. Uh, I'm not sure what year that came out. I'm thinking 90 or 91. And there's Fleer 1990. Ken Oberkfell. Carmen Castillo. And there's Mickey Hatcher. And Jeff Leonard. And Ray Knight. And there's Hall of Famer Gary Carter from 1990 Fleer. And Mike Greenwell, who had a pretty good uh, short career. And Kevin, Kevin Appier. And Kevin McReynolds from 89 Fleer. It looks like he's burping. 
And there's a World Series card from 88 Fleer. And that's uh, Kirk Gibson, I believe. Or no, that's Mike Sosha. Sorry. <laughs> Mike Diaz. Glenn Davis had a couple good years for the Astros. Uh, I don't know what I'm pointing at there. There must be some wax stain on that or something. There's Andreas Thomas. Who, there's see a corner ding on that one. There's an 87 tops Tony Walker. Dennis Rasmussen from 89 Fleer. And Rick Sutcliffe. It was a pretty decent picture from 1990 Upper Deck. And this is from 1990 Score, Matt Marillo. And Kevin Legault from Classic Best, Fort Wayne Wizards. So that's a minor league card. And there's a Roberto Clemente from, I think, 87 Donruss. I think that's one of those Dick Perez um, paintings or drawings or what have what you want to call them, illustrations. Sid Fernandez with the ball way up high in the air. I'm assuming that that ball is going to either sink or go well over a catcher's head. And there's Howard Johnson again. And these two cards are stuck together. And trying to get them apart. And there's some paper loss on the Sid Fernandez. And that's Mike Marshall. So those didn't turn out too good. So let's open up this 1990 Donruss pack. Like I said, for five bucks, uh, it was just a, just a chance. Uh, while I'm struggling to get this open, the word of the day is databases. And in a sentence, I like being in databases where no one worries about armpits and flat tires. So there's the puzzle piece that comes in the 1990 Donruss pack. It looks like just text. And there's Phil Bradley, Greg Hillebrand, Paul Sorrento, Oral Hirschsizer, MVP card, and a checklist. There's John Smoltz, the Diamond Kings version. A Hall of Famer, followed by Kirk McCaskill. And there's uh, the John Smoltz card with Tom Glavin as the image. And I don't know a lot about this one. I don't believe there was a corrected version of it. You can add more in the comments. There was Howard Johnson, Dave LaPointe, Lance McCullers, Candy Maldonado, who looks really happy there, David Cohn, great pitcher for the Mets, and Joey Bell, later known as Albert Bell, had a short career but really put up some really great numbers. I think he had some issues with the press during his career, and that may be why he's not in the hall yet. I think he he's deserving of it. So, I don't know if you could pick that up, the dogs switching positions in the dining room there. And there's Ed Whitson on the Diamond Kings card, and Fred Manrique is our last card of the box. And I guess there's some wax stains on the back of that card. So that's uh, oh, our little robot makes an appearance. Um, <laughs> so like I said, these were five bucks a box. Got these at Rite Aid. They weren't easy to find in the store. They were on hangers off the some corner of some aisle uh, that you wouldn't necessarily find. So we got some decent cards out of there. I'd say the total of all those cards in that pack, that pile, 
to the right, well, they'd probably show up like in a 10 cent bin at a, at a card shop. Um, so there were a couple okay ones in there. So I don't know if we got our money's worth with this one, but it was fun to fun to open this up and have a look to see. Um, I also had bought two similar looking boxes from Walgreens that will appear in a future video. And it looks like I have a minute left and I'm not sure what I'm talking about on the original audio. I may have been doing our word of the day at this point, but I've since done it. And there's no sense saying that over again. And I only have so many words in my brain, so it's just one a day. So thanks a lot for watching. I uh, hope this helped you determine on if you want to buy these or not. Um, everyone have a nice day. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you want to subscribe, I'd be very happy to have you as a subscriber. So everyone have a great day. Thanks again. Beep, beep, everybody. And I have 10 seconds left. Did that too early. Beep, beep.